Hi guys, and uh, my name's Scott Holmes, and I'm uh, tying a uh, fly for Pemberton Fish Finder here on Friday Night Flies. Um, the one we're going to tie that I'm going to tie for you tonight is called the Little White Bastard. It's um, a number six streamer hook, black and purple marabou, number fourteen uni mylar gold silver, uni French five gram wire small and silver, six odd purple thread, purple crystal fina crystal chenille, and crystal flash. Okay, and um, the reason I'm tying this is because I'm a beginning. I'm a beginning tire. I've been tying for about a year. I say a beginner because I still have lots of problems and and things don't always go as planned. Um, the fly we're intending to tie is going to look something like this, a little bit different, but a variation of the same fly. So we're going to try and tie it. It's uh, something that we've been fishing with down on uh, on the Lillooet River, and uh, yeah, we're after uh, steelhead or cutthroat trail, whatever we can do. Okay, so first off, we're just going to tie this in. Tie in the thread, starting at the front. And we're going to get rid of that. Just tie it. Base of thread all the way to the back. And when you get to the back, basically your end point, you want to just tie off a nice little ball of purple or whatever color it is you're using just to give the end of the fly a nice finish. And then back up to the, basically the start of the hook there. And we're going to tie in our our tinsel and our wire and our chenille. We'll start, and I, I want to have it the full length of the hook so that it's the same all the way going up. We'll trim that, and then we're going to put on some wire. And the wire is there for protection of everything else. I'm going to wrap that in and all the way up. And all, all the way back. My wire is a little bit too long. And that's going to go all the way back to just a little bit past the shank of the hook, or the uh, point of the hook. Now we're going to tie in our chenille. We're going to strip off some of these pieces. Uh, make it a little bit skinnier. And then take it where you want your chenille to stop, which is right about there. Get rid of that piece of wire. And the flash. And now we're going to wrap up this nail.
Let's go about there, three quarters of the way up, I'd say. You know, depends on how big of a head you want to put on this thing. We got a couple things to add, so I'm going to leave room. Jumping ahead of myself there. First, we got to wrap these things up. You're over the eye of the hook. You're over the eye of the hook. Back, back it up. What's you're, up? You're wrapped around your eye of your hook. Oh, thank you. There you go. And that's the kind of mistakes you make when you don't. You're learning. And I would have caught it eventually, oh, but yeah. it, would, it would have been a problem, right? It would have been a pain in the butt, that's for sure. Okay, so we get rid of this. And then we're going to get our wire. We're going to wrap that up. And this is here just to help protect the fly. Okay, and we'll get rid of this. Oh, oh. There we go. Tie in our hackle. So you wrap that backwards, eh? What's that? You tie it from the yeah. back, yeah. Yeah. We just I just all I do is rotate. I don't know if that's if you know what I mean, like I just, if I wrap this one way, then I'm going to change direction and I'm going to wrap the other thing the other way. And then just keep doing it for, for as many things as I wrap in, right? And we tie in this, the saddle hackle. And this is just so that it has a little bit of body and and just a little bit of interest. That's going to be off. Trim out the, the tip. And there it is. Perfect. Oh, and we're going to wrap a piece of black marabou, just a little bit. And it's been stripped on one side for most of it, not the whole thing because it gets pretty delicate down near the end. And we're going to try and get this tied in. I'm going to see how many turns we get out of it, not many. Oh. 
I've lost the end there. It's not work very well. I have to take it off for some reason. Yeah, in there. Yeah, no idea. And instead of wrapping it, which is what I would have liked to do, um, I'm just going to put in a little bit of black on the top. Like so. And it'll give the effect I want. Pull it out, spread it out around the hook a little bit. Trim it up, and then get the other piece. And hopefully, th and hopefully this one works this time. We'll see. You know, you never know. What I should have done last time that I didn't do was then trim this thing out of the way. I left the piece in there, and I think it caused all this problem. The marabou can be really tricky to deal with sometimes because it's so I'll get that bit that piece there. And pinch it back and start wrapping and just stepping it up. To, so that it's not such an obvious that was beautiful something to that effect and then uh, and then I'll whip finish it Take a quick look just to make sure that it's uh, pretty good. And I mean, the head could be a little bit, uh, have a little bit more thread if I wanted, but it's fine. I'll just put a little bit of head cement on it, and and boom, there you have it. The little wet bastard. That's and, a beauty. And, and you can tie it in whatever colors. I mean, is this the whole? You can tie it with. Um, reds and blacks and greens and would you, you know, put any electric colors in there like fluorescent ones? Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, I mean, I got some. I brought some. You could put it like, like you know, sure. like stuff like that, stuff like that. You know, you could do it with pink schlappen. That you could do, instead of putting it in the marapu, you could you, you could just use schlappen and because it's a lot thicker. Sweet, I'll, that's all dragonfly stuff they got here yeah, too. Right? Yeah, yeah. So well, most of the stuff I bought here at, at Spud Valley Sports. Um, our local supplier of fishing tackle and fly tying supplies. 
Um, but there you have it, little bastard. Thanks a lot for looking, watching, <laughs> looking. <laughs>